بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على النبي سائل يسر فيقول هل ليلة القدر ثابتة في ليلة معينة من كل عام أو أنها تنتقل من ليلة إلى ليلة وفقاعش تو ليلة القدر ليلة القدر is it in one specific night every year in Ramadan or does the night and the time change from year to year الجواب ليلة القدر لا شك أنها في رمضان لقول الله تعالى إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وبين الله تعالى في آية أخرى أن الله أنزل القرآن في رمضان فقال عز وجل شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن وكان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يعتكف العشر الأول من رمضان يطلب ليلة القدر ثم اعتكف في العشر الأوسط ثم رآها صلى الله عليه وسلم في العشر الأواخر من رمضان ثم تواطأت رؤيا عدد من أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنها في السبع الأواخر من رمضان فقال أرى رؤياكم قد تواطأت في السبع الأواخر فمن كان متحريها فليتحرها في السبع الأواخر وهذا أقل ما قيل في حصرها في زمن معين First and foremost He says Laylat al-Qadr is in Ramadan That's first and foremost That's firstly And the proof for this And very important when we ever, whenever we say something, we have to have the lid for it. It's halal, it's haram, this is, this isn't, night, day, you have to, you can't, you make these prayers, you don't make these prayers, we have to have the lid for everything that we say about Allah's religion. My opinion, your opinion, your view is nothing in Allah's deen. So first and foremost, he says here, Laylatul Qadr is in Ramadan. He may say, that's obvious, that's obvious. But if he says, what's the delil? And then it's what? Less? It's not as obvious. Everybody understand this? Quote the proof. Not as one, well, no, no, you have to cite the delay now. So Allah says, Indeed, we have sent it down in Laylatul Qadr. And that has nothing to do with Ramadan here. Inna anzalna fi Laylatul Qadr. We've sent it, yani it, the Quran, in Laylatul Qadr. It has nothing to do with what? Ramadan. With Ramadan. So what's the proof of what he's saying? That Laylatul Qadr is in Ramadan. He says in another verse, another verse that explains this verse, in which Allah says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ Quran. He says the month of Ramadan in which the Qur'an is what? Sent down. So one verse in the Qur'an explains and it sheds light upon a what? Another. Another verse. It's all cohesive. He then says, And the Prophet wasallam. furthermore, he used to make it a in the first ten nights of Ramadan. The first ten nights. In the beginning, and he would seek and he would search for Laylatul Qadr. Hmm. Then he made i'tikaf in the middle of the month. Everybody understand this? From 11 to 20, in the middle of the month. And then the Prophet وسلم, he saw that it was in the last 10. That it was in the last 10. And many of the companions, they had dreams about this. They saw at night, they saw when they were sleeping, that Laylatul Qadr was in the what? The last seven. Now there's a tighter ring now The last seven And the Prophet said to them He said to them He says I see that your dreams Are all what? Coinciding The dreams are what? Coinciding He says So those who want to look for Laylatul Qadr Let them look for it In the last seven In the what? So in the last seven He says This is the least restriction That we can do This is the closest That we can get on defining When exactly it is with regards to a specific night and a specific time. He then says, He says, when we look at the Quran and Sunnah, we investigate, we pay close attention, we find that Laylatul Qadr moves from year to year. And it does not stay in one night every single year. He says it does not stay in one night every single year. One year maybe the 27th, another year the 23rd, another year the 29th, what that? He then says, فَالنَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ أُرِيَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ فِي الْمَنَامِ وَأَنَّهُ يَسْجُدُ فِي صَبِيحَتِهَا فِي مَاءٍ وَطِينٍ وَكَانَ تَنْكَ اللَّيْلَةَ لَيْلَةَ إِحْدَى وَعِشْرِينَ 
وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام تحرر ليلة القدر في العشر الأواخر من رمضان He says the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He saw that ليلة القدر The morning of ليلة القدر uh, He was making sujood on what? Mud. Mud Meaning it was raining What's meant by sabiha? Is it the morning before the night? Or is it the morning after? And last night it rained Everybody understand this? If it wasn't for concrete and things like this, things would still be muddy. So perhaps it was. This is a sign. The Prophet ﷺ, he saw that morning that he was doing what? He made sujood and what? Mud. It was it was wet. It was okay, everybody understand this? The Sheikh he says, listen very carefully. He says, This hadith, this story was in the twenty first night. Not the twenty seventh night. From the signs of Laylatul Qadr is that it's gonna rain. And that's going to be cool weather. It's not hot. It's not too cold. It's going to be still. And this was not during the what? 27th. Everybody understand this? So last today we saw in the prayer schedule, in the calendar, later to the class, it was 27th. Everybody does fundraisers on the 27th. That is not necessarily huh, 101% correct. Everybody clear on this? Some may have this view. Some may take this opinion for reasons. But there's other things which what? And then it's like a tug of war. And it's not just one strong person taking the next person but it's what it's, it's going back and forth it could be 27th it could be what the 21st another night he then says والسلام, the Prophet also said search for Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 of Ramadan he says the Prophet said search for Laylatul Qadr during the last 10 he says this also proves that it isn't during a what a specific night and the Prophet system could have easily said, it's on the 27th. Class. Leave it simple and easy for the people. He didn't say that. He said, search for it. Look for it. And he said, what? Hunt it. Uh, or hunt for it. Which is more correct in English? To hunt something or hunt for something? Hunt for hunt something. For or without the four? Bilaha. With, with four. With it. <laughs> I'm hunting or I'm hunting this? I'm hunting for or I'm hunting this? Four. 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 I'm hunting four. For. It depends what it's for. It, it, it depends. You got sureness. It depends. It depends. Ha. Huh. So you could be hunting, you, you hunting, you hunting for, you be hunting for, I could be hunting for Umar. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, actually, he's whole. I'm going out hunting for him. In terms of, I'm hunting for uh, Some specific. a sheep for him. Some specific. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So Some specific. Yeah. Tayyip, so do you say, I'm hunting deer or I'm, I'm hunting for deer? Which one is I'm more correct? Deer. I'm hunting deer. With, you said four or without the four? Which one? Without the four. <laughs> because you're hunting for deer, means you're hunting for the deer. <laughs> the deer's like, you're hunting for me, you're hunting, you're hunting, you're hunting food for the deer? That's the question. <laughs> Which one is most correct in English? To hunt for or to hunt the thing? Hunt the thing. <laughs> Khair, inshallah. He says here, the Prophet sallallahu said, search for Laylatul Qadr during the last ten. He says, this proves, this hadith proves. The Prophet sallallahu says, search, hunt, taharro, look for it is that it isn't in a specific night. And when we take the opinion, he says, the opinion that states that it isn't in one night, he says, then all of the proofs and evidences will be harmonized. There is no contradiction. This one says this, he says, we take all of it. And we won't just take one hadith and abandon what? Another. Take one statement of a companion and abandon what? Another. He says, tajtami'ah. It's all unified. And another benefit, the second benefit behind this method is that a person will work hard during every night. He'll work what? He'll work hard for every night. And he won't just come to the masjid just for one night or in his house or wherever he's doing. Laylatul Qadr, wherever you are, in the masjid, wherever, whatever you're doing, al muhim searching for Laylatul Qadr. He then says, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, وثبوت أجر ليلة القدر حاصل لمن قامها إيمانا واحتسابا سواء علم بها أو لم يعلم. Another very important point: the reward of Laylat al-Qadr you will get whether you know of the night or whether you don't know. Regardless, whether you know it's this night or whether you don't. If you're standing, if you're praying, if you're giving sadaqah, if you're reading the Quran, whatever you're doing of khair, of 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 beneficial worship, he says then you'll get the reward. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, مَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ وَلَمْ يَقُلْ إِذَا عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ أَصَابَهَا فَلَا يُشْتَرَطُ فِي حُصُولِ ثَوَابِ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ أَنْ يُكُونَ الْعَامِلُ عَالِمًا بِعَيْنِهَا The Prophet ﷺ, he says, مَنْ قَامَ 
He says, he who stands. Laylatul Qadr, Iman and Ihtisab. Believing in it, looking for the reward, being firm and being resolute. Allah will forgive him of his previous sins. The Prophet ﷺ, what verb did he use? He says, man qama, he who stands. And he didn't say man alima, he who knows. So the hadith teaches us is that you stand the last 10 nights, whether it was the night that you knew about, the night that you did know about, you get the what? Yeah. You get the what? This is very important, brothers and sisters. Very important. And the masjids, the fundraisers, the talks, the khatiras on the 27th, everybody's coming. It's the 27th and 27th. That's not what the Prophet ﷺ said. Stand, pray, make ibadah. From the first to the what? Last night. May the night subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether you know about it or not, you will get the what? You get the reward. He says, so therefore, it is not a condition that the person has to know the night. It's not a condition. He then says, Rahimahullah ta'ala. وَلَكِنْ مَنْ قَامَ الْعَشْرَ الْأَوَاخِرَ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ كُلَّهَا إِمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا فَإِنَّنَا نَجْزِمْ بِأَنَّهُ أَصَابَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ سَوَاءً فِي أَوَلَ الْعَشْرِ أَوْ فِي وَسْطِهَا أَوْ فِي آخِرِهَا وَاللَّهُ الْمُوَفِّقُ He then says, however, those who stay in the entire month of Ramadan, believing in it, hoping for the reward, from the beginning to the end, he says, then lies no doubt he's going to get what? Going to Laytul Qadr. Everybody saying this? He's going to get what Laytul Qadr. And this is from the hikmah of it. And if you look at many of us today, what the people do in Ramadan, how they treat certain nights, how they treat other nights, you see the wisdom of it being unknown. Unknown. You don't know when it's going to come.